Hello everybody, Paul Humeler here with another brand new Mark Mangard guitar. Uh, Mark and I have had a long relationship for many years, and then a few years back he took a bit of a hiatus. Good for him. Um, but now he's back to building guitars for Dream Guitars, and I'm super excited. Um, he's always been one of my favorites. I think he's got one of the best bevels in the business as far as the, the shape and the comfort, and they're not too overbearing. Um, and his guitars always have a very beautiful, modern, open voice that I just love. So he makes them in South Africa. He's got some cool videos on YouTube of himself in the shop if you want to see uh, what, we're, what, he, what, what he's doing in his home shop. Um, and let's talk about this baby. This is a grand concert. Uh, so really nice size for fingerstyle. People who play percussively or just want a uh, fingerstyle guitar that has a bit more bottom end. And it's a beautiful rounded sort of grand concert shape. This one has dual bevels, so there's a front bevel and a rib breast bevel, which we'll get to in a moment. A uh, 22-year-old Italian spruce top, which sounds amazing. Italian spruce has really tight grain and it's got a lot of great clarity and just a touch of shimmer and sizzle on the top, which is beautiful. Um, but on this guitar, it also has a lot of depth on every string. He's got the um, his African-inspired rosette here, which he does often, and this one with koa in the background, which is really lovely. It's echoed a bit on the head plate. When we get up there, you'll see. Ebony fingerboard. And then the head plate, a combination of koa and African blackwood. This one has gold Schertler tuners on it. These are um, tuners made in Switzerland, really precise and lovely. Mahogany neck. I like the tricked out heel cap here. And then African blackwood for the back and sides. African blackwood, um, many people don't understand, is actually one of the most rare woods we have, even more hard to find than Brazilian. Um, and that's because typically what we get is small pieces. It's hard to find big eight inch pieces of African blackwood because of the way the tree responds after it's cut, it tends to crack. And there's various reasons why it's just hard to get big wide pieces. Um, and it's just lovely. It's becoming more and more popular, African Blackwood, because it has this beautiful low mid-range voice that people just really love, and it's very inspiring and moving. And that's what I get in this guitar. Um, here's that back bevel I'll show you here. So you've got both. So I always say it kind of feels like a Stratocaster, which is a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean if you ever played a Stratocaster. Um, so just an incredible instrument, really musical, really beautiful. I'm really happy to be offering y'all Mark Mangard's guitars again.